Hello my friends and welcome to this week's Photoshop Friday. If you're new, I'm Sam and welcome to the Ellie Rose Party Design community where we talk about everything to do with Photoshop, Silhouette Studio, PicMonkey and so much more other tutorials. Now in today's Photoshop Friday, we're going to be learning about how to make a menu for a wedding. One of my very dear friends is having her wedding in at the end of this year and I am busy doing all of her printables. Now if you haven't watched, feel free to check out my previous tutorial on how to make a wedding welcome sign. And in the menu that I'll be teaching you, we'll be using the exact same theme and the clip art for this tutorial. So the wedding menu template that we will be using, you will find in the link in the description box down below. You're welcome to download. It's free to download and included in the download, you will also receive a resource guide. And in the resource guide, I have all the details about today's tutorial, where you can find the clip art that I'm using, what fonts I'm using and where you can find those fonts and pretty much everything else to do with this tutorial. All right, let's get started. First thing I like to do when I get started with any designing, I like to import all of the clip art that I will be using. So let's go ahead and locate our clip art. Now I have a folder that I have set up that has the clip art already in it, just to save me some time during this tutorial. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, select that and hit the shift key and select all of the clip art that I will be using. And then I'm just going to click and I'm going to drag that straight into my Photoshop template. And then I'm just going to release it. And every time it brings in a clip art, you're just going to hit enter and it's actually going to place that clip art onto your canvas. Okay, and what you'll notice is at the right hand side here in our Windows panel, you'll see that all of your layers of your clip art are inside your Windows panel. Okay, so once you have all of your clip arts imported into onto your um, template, all we're going to do now is start the design process. So it's fairly easy from there. So all we're going to do is I'm just going to move things around a little bit just so I can see what I've got here. Okay, so I know that this one here I am wanting at the, oopsie. So I know I want this one here at the bottom. So I'm just going to move that right down to the bottom. And this is going to be my center, my center piece for the template on top. So all I want to do is actually hit Control and T for Tango. And I'm just going to swivel this all the way around to there. And I'm just going to reduce the size. And let's bring you into the center, which will be about there. And hit enter. All right, and now I'm just going to start adding in some of my other little uh, other little clip art. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this. So control T and so I'm just going to reduce it. And then swivel that around. Okay, and I'm just going to move you up here. Okay, and I'm just going to pop you, say, about there for now. And just hit enter. I might just drag that slightly bit down to about, say, there. To about there. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate. And I'm just going to duplicate that by clicking onto it. And so clicking onto the layer, which is this one here. Click onto the layer, and I'm just going to bring it on top of this little notepad. Right, and then it actually has copied that layer and it will be just on top of the layer that's already um, that I've just copied and all I'm going to do is hit the shift key and I'm just going to drag that all the way to here so it stays in the same line and all I'm going to do is go to edit transform and flip horizontally okay and now let's just bring you in a little bit to about say there to about say there okay I'm just going to move you a little bit all right so I'm happy with that 
Okay, so let's go with this little guy here and I'm just going to make it smaller. So control T and bring it down. Okay, and then let's just drag you up to about say there. And then let's do the exact same on the other side. So let's just duplicate that, bring you all the way to the side and go file, sorry, edit, transform, flip horizontally. There it is there. Let's just bring you back in. All right, and then I'm going to use this one, same thing. So it's fairly simple. It's just doing the same thing over and over again. Let's just swivel you around, bring you in there too. Hit enter. I might just bring you on top of the other one, like so. Let's just make you a little to the side. Okay, and then I'll do the same on the other side. All right, and drag you across and just go edit, transform, flip. There you are there. Let's just bring you in about there. I just need to bring you on top. Okay, and I might just move you slightly bit out so you can see those. All right, and then this little guy here, let's do the same thing. Let's just rotate you and make you a lot smaller and drag you So it's pretty much just a lot of moving things around and playing around and seeing what works. So I'm just kind of freeballing it. Okay, and let's just go file, transform, let's flip you over, move you to about there, drag you further down, drag Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click onto this one and I want that in the center. Okay, about there. But I'm just wanting to make it a lot bigger. All right, so bring it to the center and hit enter. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to make the transparency for this one a lot more smaller, um, a lot less. about there. Now I'm going to have this one at the bottom but it's going to be a lot smaller so let's just hit Control T and let's just drag you all right and I'm just going to pop you say about there and then I'm wanting a little banner that goes across. Okay and so to just to make a little banner that goes across all we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. There it is there and we are going to go just over here and you'll probably find that yours will either be an ellipse tool or a rectangle tool so just hit the right click on your mouse and then just hit the rectangle tool and we're just going to click and drag you out and i am wanting to change the color to say let's go with this color here Turn that off because we don't want border around it. Now let's just bring you in about say there. Might just drag you slightly further up. Okay, and I'm not liking that color, so let's just change the color to more of a greeny color. Okay, I like that color. All right, and I just want this little design to be on top. There it is there. Okay, so it's all coming together nicely. So I'm happy with that. So now all we're going to do is just add in our wording. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously put menu. And so I'm going to make a new layer by hitting the layers 
um, icon and we're going to go over here to your type tool or text tool or font tool whatever you want to call it and click onto that and then we're going to find a font called this one here and then I'm just going to make it say let's do 65 for now and we'll keep it as black and we're going to type in menu and I don't want it capital letters so let's just do e menu and hit enter let's just drag you in there all right let's just reduce that for some reason it didn't make it smaller so let's just make it say 70. all right so that looks all right to me let's just make you in the middle which is about there and then I'm just going to give it a bit of a um, like a spruce up I'm going to give it a bit of an outer glow so to do that all we're going to do is go to the FX sound sign and we're going to hit outer glow all right so let's make this about say 70 let's do zero want in white bring that over here that okay you can't really see it but you'll see what it looks like in just a minute All right, now I'm going to add in just the actual menu items. And to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to go and create a new layer. And we just go over here and I'm going to use the times new. And I'm just going to change this to about 50 and hit enter. And I'm just going to do this in capital letters. And it's going to be starter. And let's pop you just below there. All right. And that also needs to have a bit of an outer glow. So I want to kind of have the same amount. And you can see that it's starting to have a glow over there. I'm just going to duplicate that. And let's just bring you down here. And this one is going to be... So this is just going to be on trays. On trays, I think that's how you spell it. It needs another E at the end. On trays, and then we need desserts. Okay, so I've just um, did the last little bit of things, and that was. Um, I'll just tell you exactly what it was. It was times new. It was times new Roman, and that was 23. And it still had the outer glow um, behind it. Okay, and I've did that a couple of times. So you can see now why we do an outer glow, and that's because if you've got like a little clip art that's behind it, it kind of stands out um, on top of that clip art. Okay, so let's just bring things up a little bit. So I might just bring this a little bit up, that a little bit up. Okay, so I am pretty happy with the way that that is looking. So now, once you are finished with that, all we're going to do now is just save your work. And to save your work, all we're going to do is let's first group it together and save it as a PNG file and we will also then save it as a PSD file which is your Photoshop file okay all we need to do is go to layers and we're just going to flatten the image okay so now it all is grouped together we're then going to go file save as and we're going to save our work 
Okay, so you just save it wherever it is that you want, wherever you want to save it, okay? Now, I've already saved this, so I'm not going to worry about it, but all you would do is hit save, and you, sorry, you would first go here, PNG file, what it, file, um, name whatever it is that you want to name your file as, PNG file, and hit save. But like I said, I've already done that, so I'm not going to bother with it. All right, and then you do that. Okay, so I've saved that. So all I'm going to do now is let's just go back a few steps. So I've just hit the history icon. If you don't have that history icon, go to Windows and click on to history. And then it will bring it up on the side here. All right. So I'm just going to go back a previous step. And there's all of my layers. And all I'm going to do now is go file, save as, save it wherever it is you want to save it. And make sure you are saving it as a PSD file. A PSD file, okay? And make sure that it is ungrouped. So all the layers are there. All right, guys. So that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and that you will give it a go when you make your next wedding printable. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to please hit that subscribe button, the notification button. When I upload next, it will notify you. And I will see you guys in next week's video. All right, take care, guys. Bye.